I'm Rebecca, I'm the EA Manager at Baringa and we're here today to talk to you about leadership and our transition into a management role. Hi, my name is Elisa and I'm the Operations Manager at Baringa Partners. I started at Baringa about three and a half years ago. I originally grew up in Germany and moved over at the age of 18 to London. My very first job was a PA for a high net worth individual. Um, straight after that, I decided to move over to Germany for one year and start an open study in psychology. I was very quickly approached by two psychologists to be their personal assistant at their clinic. And in 2019, in April, I decided to pursue my career as an executive assistant here in London at Bringer Partners. So I'm originally from Australia. I started working as a junior receptionist when I was 17. I did a business traineeship and then moved into various other administration roles. I've been working for about 10 years and I felt the need to have a gap year and to go travelling. I moved over to London in 2014, which is where I started my career as an executive assistant. I've been at Baringa for about three years now. I originally started off as an executive assistant when I joined Baringa. I quickly transitioned into becoming a senior executive assistant and in 2019 during the pandemic we were moving offices. I was quickly approached by my manager to help out on different testing and facility sites um, on the move and I was very happy and excited about this new opportunity. Since then I have been always involved in different facilities and technical sites around the office and I quickly realized that this would be the next step for me in my career to become the operations manager. So I stepped up into a senior executive assistant role. Within that role I was getting more involved with the EA recruitment, a lot of the EA strategy and operations. So when the role for EA manager came up in April this year I stepped into it and have been on that leadership journey since. I'm really enjoying it. There's so much variety to my day. I'm getting to help in so many different operational projects and initiatives within the firm. Being an EA myself, it's really helped me to understand what it takes to succeed in this role. So since stepping into the manager position, it has been challenging in the beginning due to the change of the team and also the variety of tasks that I have to implement. However, I've been enjoying it since day one and have been fully embracing all of the different challenges and the opportunities that come along the role. I think as an EA you're having to be so reactive to those day-to-day -day responsibilities, you know, those cancelled meetings, those no-shows, those last-minute lunches to be collected. In this role I'm finding it's less about having that reactive approach but really stepping back and looking at the picture and thinking more strategically and almost sort of acting a lot more slower and proactive in the day-to-day. -day. The biggest challenge for me in my current role is to balance the strategic growth that Baringa has seen over the past year but then also the office space that we are currently having. However, we'll be trying to support our employees as much as we can and, uh, and we'll be bringing out new ideas in the future for additional office space. I've been also really enjoying working closely with the front of house and the facilities teams in order to run the office and also with the wider teams from different business units in order to implement different projects and ideas around the office. It's definitely the people that I work with. I don't think I would have stepped up into this role if it wasn't for the incredibly supportive and talented team of EAs. I believe it is very important as a leader to be able to listen to your team and for you to help and achieve them their goals and their objectives, especially for them to progress in their career. Additionally to that, it is also very important to stay calm in difficult situations and be there for your team when they need you the most. I think the best leaders are those who are leading by example, showing others what to do rather than just telling them. I think great qualities of a leader are those who are really good with communication, personable, approachable and are a great listener. I believe communication is key. 
Since stepping into the operations manager role, I have been more aware of the wider business and the important requests of different stakeholders around our business. Therefore, for me, it has been always very important to self-develop this particular skill. I agree, I think communication is really key. You also need to be organised, proactive and you need to have resilience in this role because you have so many things coming at you at once. I also think it's really important as a leader to continue to develop yourself in terms of listening to different podcasts, reading different books and having that management community around you to bounce ideas off and be there to lean on for support. Being part of this vlog has definitely been one of the most memorable work moments at Baringa for me. However, I'm also very proud of the client EA network that we have built here. I've been part of it um, since I was an executive assistant and I'm very happy and excited about all of the different events and initiatives that we were able to implement this year for our client EA network. I agree, this vlog is definitely memorable and something that I've never done before. But that's what I love about Baringa is the opportunities they give you to try new things and to own your own personal development so you really get to grow both professionally and personally. I once had this great quote by John Maxwell, in order to lead others you first need to be able to lead yourself. For example, you know, as leaders in our personal life, you know, are we eating well, are we sleeping, are we getting enough exercise? You know, in our work life, what's your time management? Are you meeting deadlines? You know, what quality of work are you producing? I think if you can lead yourself well in those few examples, you'll have a better impact when leading, managing and coaching others. I totally agree with Rebecca. I believe that it is very important to be in the right headspace as a leader in order to be able to help your team in progressing in their role and helping them to achieve their objectives. Thank you very much for watching our vlog. We hope that you found this insightful. If you would like to read our answers in more depth, then please check out the blog below.